I don't know how his health affects it. I'm sure that he's got a long line of people behind him willing to stay the course with whatever decision he was going to make anyway. Well, I mean, if our negotiations have been going through him directly, I think maybe that would stop them or at least inhibit them for a little while. I think it all depends on the scenario and who's in line for succession. And I note that uh, there are varying reports on that. Uh, so I think we're just going to have to wait and see. Essentially, he's been one of the largest stumbling blocks. I think if there's a little bit of uncertainty there, they'd be more willing to at least come to the table. Pakistan, it's a little bit unstable. They have a lot of nuclear arms. We know they do. I would have to say probably a tie between Pakistan and Iran. As far as the United States is concerned and this administration is concerned and the next administration is concerned, Iran is likely to be presented as the biggest threat on the nuclear front for reasons which are sort of historic. At this time, Pakistan, knowing the, um, their temperament or how they feel they've been treated by the West in terms of their own nuclear uh, uh, program. So right now, we'll say Pakistan. I think it can open up um, cooperation, uh, a new hope for uh, the future. I wouldn't go that far just yet. I think we all have to wait and see. It's a volatile uh, region, but uh, we're really talking about uh, a problem that's relatively contained, geographically speaking. I think lately the United States is involved in every region, so probably.